Hey, it's Adam with Productivity Academy. And like the title says, I still want to talk a little bit about a tool you can use to help yourself communicate better. Uh, I was writing the newsletter, uh, which I'll provide the link below. If you're not uh, on the newsletter, hop in, uh, get that. I definitely go into more detail, at least written and giving examples of some of the stuff that I talk about on uh, the YouTube channel here. So anyways, uh, talking about this tool, this is something that's really important to me. I think that uh, it's worth kind of uh, the tangent here of, you know, the communication and the quality of your communication being very important, right? Whether it's a video like this where, I mean, I know in the past where I've um, had issues uh, like now kind of stumbling through something and getting feedback from people like, hey, if, you know, you were able to do a better outline and maybe, you know, go through this more clearly, it would be a better video. And totally agree. But part of it is also getting videos out and not waiting until it's perfect or taking five hours to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. But when we have tools available that can help us, right, it, it's kind of silly to not make use of those. It's not to say that we shouldn't improve our writing so that our baseline abilities are, uh, you know, aren't higher but that these things exist out there and we should be aware of them. Um, I'll include some links uh, down below. Uh, if you're not familiar with these and you wanna do some research or find out more about that, you can do that there. I'm not gonna go into this. A lot of these tools though um, are coming out of, um, I'll say loosely like AI tools that are based on things like the GPT-3 bot, which again, I'll include links down there if you wanna do your own research. But let's talk about this. Specifically, you can see what they're doing here uh, in the background. And it's basically your thought and words. It's really cool. It's a plugin on Chrome, so it works wherever you know you're using Chrome, and you can basically get uh, rewrites, or uh, I'll just leave it at that, rewrites in a better way generally of what you've written. And this can be really important, right? If you're communicating, um, potentially with clients, with business colleagues, uh, with your boss, right, with your um, employees, whatever it is, you want to be clear. And, um, you know, something I talked about, too, was how important this is. I know a lot of technical people uh, hear the word persuasive and think that it's kind of a dirty word. But one of the things that I think is really important and somebody who put it very well, who was very technical, is Richard Hamming. Uh, you can look him up. Multiple award winner, very influential person. Guy's got theories and methods named after him. Uh, but he talks about both in the beginning and end of his book, The Art of Doing Science and Engineering. Great book, by the way. Go check it out. Um, talking about, you know, you need to be persuasive and it's not just the quality of your work that is going to matter. Right. You have to be able to communicate that. Uh, and part of that is through informal presentations. It's through writing. Right. Uh, not just papers, but, you know, maybe quick communications um, and that, you know, you have to be able to do this and it will make a difference. So let's go in and uh, take a little look. Uh, they've got their little playground here. You can go through and check it out. Go to wordtune.com. Uh, but I went ahead and loaded up so you can kind of see what it does in, um, in the real world, if you will. So I wrote what I think is kind of a clunky sentence here. Wordtune is a pretty neat tool that could help you by making your wording better when you are writing emails to people for business or personal reasons. All right, so all you got to do is highlight it, and I believe, yeah, Control D will also uh, start the rewrite process. But let's go ahead and hit that, and I'll shrink my face down here so we're not taking up so much space. And we can see, let's see, you can use WordTune to improve your wording when writing emails to people for business or personal reasons. I like that. Still talking about using WordTune, and it mentions WordTune, and it's basically the same sentence, but shortened up, more concise, and just sounds better. Um, let's see, WordTune is an interesting and helpful tool. That could also be good if I was looking for more descriptive uh, phrasing that could assist you when writing emails for personal or business reasons. That's nice if you're looking for something more descriptive. And then down here, you can see some more. You can make your wording better when you're writing emails to people as a result of using WordTune. I think that's also good. Um, so lots of options in here. So for example, if I click that, it's just going to replace it. And up here, when you see the little diamonds, I'm might end up using premium. Um, I haven't had a need because I've used it and enjoyed it so much for rewriting, but it can also uh, change tones, right? So kind of, you know, are you going for a formal business speak or more casual? And then it can shorten and expand. So you could write something simple and maybe if you want it to expand on that. Lots of tools um, that are doing these two, shortening and expanding, um, although not necessarily in line in the browser. So let's go ahead and click. So if you click that, that's kind of cool. It just goes ahead and replaces it. So let's try doing that again and see what it comes up with. So you can see it thinking a little bit here. 
and uh, there we go. So just kind of giving some other ideas. So really cool. You can also copy it, of course, if you click that button instead of just uh, clicking and replacing it. Uh, but wanted to go into this, share a little bit. I think that this is fantastic, especially for this. The reason I brought up an email was, um, you know, besides the subject line being very important, uh, you know, that first sentence, right? Are you communicating clearly um, what it is? Are you being maybe a little bit too verbose, right? Too many words. Uh, maybe you're not uh, being descriptive enough. So having some options uh, can really help you. And I like it. You immediately maybe see one. Uh, I know I do most of the time where I'm like, ah, this is better. Than what I wrote. Let me just choose that and go for it. So anyways, check it out. It's wordtuden.com. Uh, like I'm showing here, they have the free version uh, and then the premium one can do a bunch of other stuff too. So good stuff. Check it out. Hope that helps.